Hello, welcome to Holly's b and I'm just gonna give you guys a quick rundown on some of the stuff in the house that you may need a little instruction on. Here's the Bose surround sound system. You can see their speakers inside, all the way out by the family room and in the living room. The only thing we ask is if you're gonna use this, it's entirely fine, but please keep the noise at a respectable level to our neighbors. Uh, the surround sound is hooked up to the TV. So if you wanna hook it up to the TV, you're gonna go ahead and hit power on. Some music will probably come on. And then you're gonna use this input knob and go to MDCDR audio and it'll switch over to the T, you'll see the TV sound. Thanks. You know your bell is made from the animal. Like so, you can turn the volume. And there's also two sections of speakers. A is the living room, B is the family room, or you could do A and B. So right now A and B are on. If you wanted to turn B off, just hit B or hit A. If you just want A on, hit A. If you want A and B, then hit B again, and they're both on, you'll see right there. And if you wanna use the radio, same input knob, you'll go over to tuner, and then you're on AM and FM. You can use this to tune to the station that you want, and there's an FM AM button right there, and that's it for that. Right over here, you'll see a little sign you have the remote for the string lights outside if you want to turn those on at night. Real quickly, I'll show you how to use a, a nice bathroom vanity feature we have. Alright, so we have state-of-the-art vanities that change colors and this one actually dehumidifies. So if you wanna use this, you'll turn the switch right here. Then this will pop on, the square will turn on, you'll hit the square, on, off, or you could turn the switch, but in order to use it, the switch needs to be on. You also have this vanity right here, which the blue light will mean that it's on. On, off right there. And then you could use this symbol to change the color. If you keep this blue light on while you're in the shower, it'll make sure that the glass doesn't fog up. And you also have a magnifying mirror inside. All right, let's go outside. We'll check out some cool features in the gate. He doesn't come with a listing, but you can come visit if you'd like for a fee. Kidding. Um, all right. So we just installed a new color changing LED light bulb in the pool. It'll be hard to see during the day, but you just flip this switch on. And as you flip it on and off, it'll change colors to whatever, you know, the LED control a slow fade you can do a steady color but you know keep flipping on and off for different colors and please flip it off at night when you're done using it there's also a water call feature over here we'll step into the bath so we want to show you guys how to use the waterfall feature but the only thing we ask is that you please not touch any of the other pool equipment except what i'm about to show you back here and if there's something you want to change with the pool heater if you have a question you need help just reach out to your host me or Daniel or whoever it may be and we can give you further instruction on how to maybe change the temperature or whatnot but again please do not touch any of the other pool equipment except what I'm about to show you before first asking us so if you want to turn on the waterfall there are all these nozzles. The only one you need to worry about is this one. If you come into the back and you're facing it, it's all the way to the far left. Simply gonna turn it on and we'll wait a couple seconds. So we'll go out and we'll show you. The full waterfall feature here. There's also a shower with a nozzle 
it's only cold water, but it's a nice little extra to have when you get out of the pool to rinse off. And to turn it off, right there, and as you can see, it turned off. As you can see, it turned off. And again, real quick right here, just on, off, on, off. Feel free to use it, but please do not uh, forget to turn it off when you're done using the pool. The pool pump will also turn off around 8 p.m. Um, again, please ask your host if you want to do this, but just to quickly show you, there's a lever here. So you could turn the pool pump on and off like this. The waterfall and the pool heater do not work without the pool pumping water for obvious reasons. But um, when you contact your host, we'll give you a bit more instruction on other things besides the waterfall if you need it. But just as a heads up, this is where the pool pump is. Last thing we'll show you is the heat. Now we're getting the gate service, so it'll of course work when you're here. But I'm going to show you guys how to use the gate in a situation where it's not working for whatever reason. So usually, which it isn't right now, you'll just use this remote right here mounted to the wall. It'll open and close the gate. The gate is on a timer, so if there's nothing in the ingress or egress, it will automatically close after about 15 seconds. Want it to stay open, there's a cap right here, or for whatever reason this isn't here, you can use anything really to cover this reflector right here, and then the gate will stay open. And in a situation like right now where we have to get it serviced, the gate works manually. So if you could get back here, just try and get an angle. So when it's, norm when it's working normal, this will be loose where it says manual disconnect. And if you're having issues with the remote or the electronics of it, you could pull this tight and then lock it right here. And now we'll come out here and you could just pull and push the gate open. So worst case scenario, you can use the gate. It just may not be working electronically. Last thing for our guests, which this is in the welcome binder, everything that we talked about here, but this is where our trash will be. You don't need to roll anything out. You can just come take your trash and put them in those cans. All right. Thank you for your time, guys, and I hope you enjoy your stay. If you need anything, just give us a call or shoot me a message on the Airbnb app or VRBO app. Thank you.